Welcome to our video demonstration of Quick Surface. On the internet we see a lot of uh, reverse engineering videos and most of them they just use the mechanical parts. So I'm not going to bother you with this uh, trivial stuff. Of course there are so many mechanical cases and inevitably we need them. For example here we just need to extract the sketch and then we can create extrusion then create planes, trim them and in the end I will just en enable to here we construct the solid body and here we can extract some details from here we will just cut and at the end we just end up with this part which is I will just hide this sketch which is perfectly fine but the question now is what do we do with uh, this area and how we can address it. So here is what Quick Surface can do. We'll just use the Mesh Selection tool and use the magic wand, click here and we pick the area which is of our interest. I'll put it in top view and here I need to just paint a little bit more to fill these small areas that um, need to be used. You then need to be precise but the more the better. Also you need to take care when you do this selection not to go too much out of the fillet because uh, this is actually what we'll use. Holding the Alt key you just unselect these areas here. Yeah. I'll paint this again. While doing this make sure that the select through is off so you don't select the areas behind the object and now how we can attack uh, this case i'll just use our auto surface you don't need to adjust you can leave the default values or maybe in this case i can set that i have a bit more higher details and then press preview we just wait a little bit until the software extracts the surfaces I would like to say that this is not a powerful computer, it's off the shelf, a Pentium i7 and still you can see that uh, what results we can get and this is our result here you can just set uh, the view to tolerance mode so you can see what um, quality you have also another thing that you can do is to help the algorithm to draw some guide curves here to flow, to direct the flow of the algorithm so it can improve the quality and then you press again preview again you wait but you don't wait forever you just wait uh, less than a minute until it gets the result As you can see, the algorithm generates uh, curves that really f uh, follow the curvature of the object and when you're happy, you can just press OK. So what is the next step? I will just unselect and uh, hide the mesh so I can see my result. And I can go and of course use our edit surface mode with the brush tool. You can uh, smooth some areas, you can adjust and you can probably change the areas by dragging and improving some areas here but the next thing what I need to do is just use our extrapolate tool I just select this take the edge from the corner and drag it why well, I did this so I can get it a, a bit more out of the surface so I can apply trimming and then the next step is I take my body and I will just select both of them select my operation trim so now you can see that it gives us that it's a multiple surfaces and one option you can just apply the automatic trimming as you can see it throws away we use the algorithm to get rid of what is unnecessary and then you can press ok the service is rebuilt and you can see it's a solid body and then you are ready you can analyze your quality with the um, environmental mapping so you can see how it is and then you can just press export the model 
and export it as a step file and put it in your other package like uh, SOLIDWORKS for example I'll just come and this is the file I just press open it takes a while for SOLIDWORKS to load the solid model but uh, it's a completely valid model which you can use further for any other processing you can see that it's a solid body and you can use it in your favorite CAD packages. Thank you for watching.